Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 6759 Huron Street in the west end of Halifax on the Halifax Peninsula in Nova Scotia. Just going to do a quick 360 here. So Huron Street at this section is a dead end street. So there's a, there's a park down there. So we're right in the heart of the west end before I turn around I guess. We're right in the heart of the west end and so you have shopping, public transit, schools, walking trails, um, entertainment, you know, with an easy walking distance. So you're right on the peninsula. And so you have everything that the Halifax Peninsula has to offer. So you're about 10, maybe 15 minutes to downtown Halifax, if that, um, you know. So you have everything at your fingertips, including, um, you know, one of the bigger malls on the peninsula, the Halifax, uh, Halifax Shopping Mall, and everything else. So including, like I said, public transit is a major hub for Metro Transit just around the corner. So I'm just, again, doing a quick 360 here of the street. Nice, quiet street. Not a lot of thoroughfare as far as traffic goes because it is a dead-end street. And we're right back to the property here. So um, as I said before, you have, uh, for kids, you have a park and all that type of thing down there. So lots of good activities for families, but not too loud. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this property. We're going to walk around the outside, then we're going to go inside. This property is actually very unique. As a realtor, I'm asked uh, a lot if I can find a property with an in-law suite in the lower level. So, you know, different generations can live together. I'm happy to say that this is exactly what this property is. And again, it's on the peninsula of Halifax, which makes it all that more exciting. So this house has been renovated uh, over the years, uh, brought right back to the studs. A second story was uh, was put on it, you know, re-insulated, re-plumbed, rewired, all that good stuff. And then the basement, which is a fully contained in-law suite with its own entrance, uh, its own bathroom and its own power, uh, power meter is, uh, is all there and it's done and its own kitchen, the whole bit. So anyway, so let's walk around the outside and then we'll go inside. We're going to go through uh, the entire property. So we had some snow yesterday, so I'll just have to step through that. So the exterior is vinyl, so nothing to worry about there. There's your two power meters, so one for uh, the main house and then one for the lower level. And both of them appear to be 200 amp service, breaker panels. You'll see those when we go inside, which is great because if you have 200 amp service, that means that you could put ductless heat pumps in if you wanted to. So here's the backyard, big yard. It's mostly fenced. Clothesline there. I'll just go further back so we can see the house. So there we go, so a small deck, and that's for the main house. And so the main house has four bedrooms, so two on the main floor, and two in the second level. And then downstairs, it also has two more bedrooms. So six bedrooms all together in the house. And then you have two full baths on the main house, and then one full bath in the basement. So three full baths all together. And right there in the middle of the screen, just on the other side, that's the entrance to, to the lower level, which we'll be seeing in a moment. So the, the, uh, the home's in great shape. So now we're going to walk back to the front and we'll start in the main house and then we'll pop back outside and go in the basement, which is finished as a self-contained in-law suite. Okay. Here we go and you do have a double gravel driveway. All the windows are vinyl. All the heavy lifting as far as renovations goes has been done. Okay. Close the door and take off my shoes. And all of the flooring throughout the entire house is solid surface. There's no carpet. So once again, easy to maintain, easy to live in, in a great area. And uh, it's got that in-law suite potential downstairs. So there we go. So this is the main floor living room, dining area, and your kitchen. Here's your coat closet there. Go all the way around. There's your hardwood staircase going to the second story, which was an addition a few years ago. And I'll walk in now and I'll just turn around so you can see where, we were, where I came from. There's the entrance there. So there's some, uh, some tile on the floor there. And it's basically tile in the, uh, in the wet area. So tile there and in the bathrooms and in the utility room there, and the rest of it is laminate. So here's your kitchen, so a wooden kitchen. All the appliances that you're seeing are included. So there's your dishwasher, your stove, your range hood unit, and there's your fridge. And then you'll have a double stainless steel sink. 
There's your view when you're doing your dishes. And I'll just do a quick 360 here or turn around so you can see where we just came from. And that door is going into uh, the bedroom and the bathroom area. And just at the back of the home, this is where, uh, so both units have their own washer dryer. So there's the washer and the dryer, the hot water tank and your air exchanger. So fresh air in, stale air out. And that's the door that you pop open just to get to that back deck. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll head over. This is the, uh, the controller for the air exchanger. Downstairs, the air exchanger is roughed in. There isn't a unit, it looks to be roughed in though. And the heating uh, in the entire property is the electric. So electric baseboard, but again, uh, it appears that you have uh, 200 amp services for both the main house and the lower level. So ductless heat pumps sh should, uh, should be a snap to put in. So now we walk through the doorway here and now we're into the bedroom area. So there's the bathroom. So we'll go in here first. So a three-piece bath, so there's your vanity, your mirror and your light, nice big window. It does have an exhaust fan, which is great. I'm now on a tile floor, and there's your toilet and a corner shower. Okay, so we'll go in the first bedroom now. So this is facing the side and the back of the home, so two windows in this bedroom. Once again, it's laminate flooring. So there's the view from the little window there, just towards the backyard. And that's where we just came from, and you have a double closet. And that's the view of the side yard. That's a casement window right there. Okay, we'll go into the second bedroom on this floor. And this is facing the front of the property. So there's your power panel there for the main house. So there you go, and I have opened it, and it is a, it has a 200 amp breaker on it, main breaker. There's your view of the front lawn from this bedroom. And you also have a double closet there as well. So lots of storage. And speaking of storage, we do have storage under the staircase. There's store here. Good amount of storage there. And this door is important because if you wanted to, if, since the, you have bedrooms on the main floor, you can close this door and therefore the people continue to, to stay awake and live and, you know, play and all that type of thing in the main area. But yet everybody who's uh, sleeping or whatnot needs private, uh, privacy can, uh, can go to bed. So that's good. Okay, so now we're going to be going upstairs. So there's the hardwood staircase. And this whole addition was put on in recent years. So nice and tall crown molding, ceiling fan. And you have double hallway closets, linen closets, one there and one there. And they're flanking a, a full bath. We'll go in there in a moment. And then you also have two more bedrooms up here on either side of the home. So we're just going to go right first. So bedrooms, all the bedrooms, again, have laminate flooring. So you, this one also has two closets there and there. A little storage area between them and then a nice big window for natural light. And all the windows are vinyl, as I said, outside. So that's the third bedroom that we've seen. Continue on. We'll go into the bathroom first. So tile floor, good size vanity, solid surface countertop. There's your toilet, and your lights, your mirror, exhaust fan, which is great. Another head for the air exchanger. Window for natural light facing the backyard. And then you have an acrylic shower tub combo, which is super easy to clean and maintain. And you also have a closet there for, um, for towels and whatnot. So lots of storage. And now we're going into the fourth bedroom in the main part of the house. So there we go. Just like the other one across the hall, you have two closets there with a window in the middle and some storage underneath the window. And you can just see where we came from. So that's the main part of the house. And now we're going to uh, jump back outside and we're going to go downstairs. And again, I'm asked all the time, can I find a home that has a good in-law suite in it for folks with an extended family or, you know, the grandparents that want to live downstairs and help out with the kids. And they're very hard to come by. Let alone one that has its own power meter so everybody can pay for their own utilities. 
as far as uh, electricity goes. Okay, so here we go. So now we're going to the other side. My apologies for the wind. And this is the self-contained in-law suite. So it has its own entrance. Here we go. There's the stairwell going downstairs. Just gonna close the door there. And these are all keyed doors, so they can be locked. So now we're going in the lower level. Just gonna kick off my shoes. So electric heat. And you have lots of windows in the lower unit. There we go. And there's a little cat uh, down here and he likes to hear uh, music. So, so that's why we'll hear some music when we go into the kitchen. But, uh, you know, laminate flooring, you know, nice and easy to clean and maintain. There's a closet for shoes and coats. I'll just go right back to this area of the living room now. There you go. That's where we just were. And now we'll go into the unit itself a little bit more. So we have a full kitchen. Again, it has its own service, yeah, its own electrical service. So there's your full kitchen, somewhere upstairs. And all of the appliances that you're seeing here are, are included. So there's your stove, rain shed unit, um, built-in dishwasher, and your fridge. And then your double sink. And then that back window is just underneath the back deck. So you can see it there. And through this little hallway, that's where you have your two bedrooms. We'll be going in there in a moment. We'll start off in the utility room. So there's your hot water tank. And when you're seeing the galvanized ductwork there and uh, some electrical and that type of thing, I believe that uh, it looks like it's roughed in for an air exchanger. One is not here, but it looks like it's all ready to go. And there's your stockable washer and your dryer. And there's a window facing the side of the property for natural light. So everything looks to be in good shape. We'll go into the bathroom now. So a full bath on tile floor. So there's your toilet, vanity with solid surface countertop, an, exa an exhaust fan, which again is great. You have a window facing the backyard. And there's your soaker tub with a surround all in good shape, nice and clean. And now we're just gonna finish off in the bedrooms. Here we go, as you can see all the cat toys. So we'll go on the left, so we've got two bedrooms. So one bedroom here, this is your power panel. Similar to the one upstairs. I can open this one up easy. So there you go, so there's your 200 amp service. So nice and easy. I understand it's all labeled, which is great. So again, separate services for both living areas. There's the window there, and that's facing uh, the front of the property. And you have a single <clears throat> closet. And once again, it's all laminate. And now we'll just finish off in the last bedroom. So this is the sixth bedroom of the house, the second one for the lower level. So laminate flooring, another big window facing the front of the property. I'll go all the way in. And then you have another closet there. So there you go, a real gem in the west end of Halifax with in-law suite with its own power, fully contained, uh, live very, very well down here as well, of course, in the rest of the house. So my name is Chris Ryan. I'm a realtor with Royal LePage Atlantic here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing, please contact me. My phone number is 902-830-4465. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.